welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivor and Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. First of all, I gotta say, guys, welcome back to Red United. It's been a while. I know it's been a while. It's been a while since I've uploaded. It's been about four weeks. I'm sorry, guys. I am a key worker at the same time, and it was very hard to make some videos. But we're back, guys. We're back, baby. We are back. Football is back. Football is back after a long time, a long period, guys, a long isolation with your with your family, your partner. Uh, I know at times it was very hard. At times it was good as well. But football's back, guys. It's finally back. And let's talk about today's game, guys, which is Spurs 1, Manchester United 1. Well, guys, I gotta say a pretty much um, even game today. We was It was a deserved point. But at the same time, you gotta say Spurs were lucky. Spurs was really lucky to win to get a point. They pretty much did nothing, nothing, nothing throughout. Just a few counter attacks, a few counter attacks towards our players. And I forgot to say, I'm very disappointed with you, David De Gea. Another mistake by David De Gea. David, why do you do this? Just why? Why do you do this? Another mistake. What's going on with you, fam? What's going on with you, David De Gea? Is for some for for some years has been known as one of the best goalkeepers in the world, best goalkeeper in the world. And nowadays he's just he's just messing up. You almost made me swear as well, and I don't like to swear. He's been messing up. He's been I I don't, I don't know. Does he want to leave? Do you want to leave? Do you, do you want to leave? So the first twenty minutes, we was pretty much just looked at the team that was in the front foot. We was attacking. We was aggressive. We was passing the ball really well until that mistake, a counter attack by Steven Bergwijn, and wow, took a strong shot, deflected it off of David here, which I thought he could have saved. He really should have saved that, but at the end of the day, he did. It. And as the match went on, we had opportunities. We had opportunities. Daniel James today. I don't know what happened to you guys, but Daniel James. You need to actually go and study just to get a bit clever. You take some exams, take some tests because you're making the wrong decisions. You're making the wrong decisions. There were pretty much times where you could have passed the ball or you could have dribbled, take that on the player, square it. But no, no, you choose not to. And now he came off. I hope you came. I hope you realize that your next match, you won't be playing. Thank God Mason Ruin came on and made a difference. Pogba came on, made a difference. Especially in the second half. Boy, the one-twos, the connection between him and Bruno. Oh my god, it was exciting. Bruno and Pogba. Wow. Brilliant guys. And to be to be do you think that people actually thought that they are unable to play with each other? What's wrong with you guys? Sometimes I just want to know. Like, do you guys those guys who actually think that they can't play together, do, do you sleep on the right at the right on the right side of the bed? Do you sleep or do you do anything right? Do you do anything right? You probably wipe your ass. You probably wipe. Normally, we tell, we say wipe your ass with your left hand because you don't use it. You probably use your right hand to wipe your ass because you do everything wrong. Because why would you think they won't be able to play together? They just show that. As soon as Papa came on, boom, bang, 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 penalty. Graham Sooners, you can eat that. Eat some of that. Hope you lick grass as well. You make me sick, by the way, Graham Sooners. You make me sick. So yeah, Pogba won a penalty. And as soon as you know it, Bruno comes on, makes it 1-1. Within the last 10 minutes, all of a sudden we get another penalty, but it wasn't a penalty. Oh, I wish it was. I was so excited. As soon as I saw that second penalty, I was like, yeah! Oh, man. No pen. It hurt my feelings. But at the end of the day, we looked the better team against Tottenham. Tottenham, you was lucky. You better eat your pants next time. I know some of you Tottenham fans are probably thinking, oh, no, 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 we did our job. No, yo, yo, you didn't do your job. You guys were shit. You guys were moist. We deserve to get those three points. By the end of the day, we got the points. I pretty much would have rather seen my United not lose and get the point. We could have gotten three points. There was times where Rashford had an opportunity to actually shoot. He decided to just do some nonsense. It happens with Rashford sometimes. Sometimes he has that moment where he's just doing rash things, you know. His name is Rashford at the end of the day. So the game ended 1-1. It just ended 1-1. Guys, 
My man of the match today is Bruno. He played fantastically well today. He, he did make a few mistakes in terms of giving the ball away a few times, but apart from that, there were just glimpses where he just done things that was just oh, breathtaking, just magnificent. Like, just, mm, uh, mm. And my donkey of the match today, Daniel James. Daniel James told Oli to not play you the next match. You was absolutely atrocious. You make me sick sometimes. But apart from that, uh, in the middle of the game, I had my friend t t sending me messages on WhatsApp saying, Daniel James is dead. He's just a one-trick pony. He doesn't have nothing else in his game. And D Daniel James, please, if you hear this right now, I'm just go and step up the game. Think about what's it called, um, the decision you're going to make. Take some exams, like I said. Read a book to improve your level of creativity because reading does help. Reading does help, guys. Guys, if you ever want to improve your uh, creativity, read because it helps. It helps you improve storytelling. And when you're playing football, there is some stories you're telling with your feet. And Daniel James, you need to read so you can so you can get better. Guys, let's go straight to the player ratings. We start off with David De Gea. David De Gea, boy, boy, after that mistake, I gotta say, you you, you getting a six, Hele. You getting a six. Ray Keane slammed you. If, if Guys, if you was watching Sky Sports and broadcast, Roy Keane slammed David De Gea. Everyone had to come in. He had circling down. That big man circle down. Circle down. Like, what you're trying to say is supposed to have glue on his hands to just keep... Like, could anyone could have, like... That's what he was trying to tell to Roy Keane. But Roy Keane wasn't happening. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. And then we have wan Bissaka. wan -Bissaka as well. He played well. Uh, but at the end of the day, we drew. So I would say a six as well. We had Victor Lindelof in playing at centre back today. I would also give him a six. Harry Maguire, Harry Maguire made a big mistake as well when it came to that goal. So you today, you're getting a five. And we had Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, I thought, played pretty well. Six, six today. No one's getting good scores, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Him and Phil Scott McTominay, there was times he gave the, boy, the ball away so many times in the first half. I was pretty much pissed off at him as well. I wanted him to come off. I didn't want Fred to come off. So with McTominay, you as well, you are going to get a six, a bona fide six. Fred, Fred as well. Fred did nothing at the end of the day, but he could have done, done more. And I can understand why he had to come off. I would give him as well a five. And we have Daniel James playing an up uh, was right wing for today. You was shit. You just you just shit. You was shit. Pants doo doo. Puff. 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 You're not even worth it. Like you smell so bad. You're, you're, you're that shit. Bro. You're like ugh. Let's just let's just let it go. Let's just leave it, guys. And we move on to Bruno Pogba. I mean, Bruno Pogba, you see? Oh, my God. Bruno Pogba. Anyway, we move it to Bruno Fernandes. And with him, I'll give him a good, a good, um, a good, a good six. A good six. And with Rashford as well. Rashford as well did what he could do. There was times where he tried to show a few limps of his talent. But, boy, it didn't work out at times, didn't it? Anyway, it's the first time, first game back in a long time, so I would probably just give him my, my opinion. Another six as well. Everyone, to be fair, was on a six today, except for Daniel James. And Marshall as well, he wasn't, I didn't see much of Marshall today, except for that one shot, that one chance. And he must well, I would probably give him five. And the guys who came on, which was Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba came on and got an assist for the penalty. You know what? I will give him a 7. I will give him 6.5 to a 7, but I don't want to upset um, Graham soon as he might just spill out his coffee and get angry and then go and slap slap his, slap his something. I don't even know. I don't even want to say somebody, but he just go do something and abuse someone or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. And who else came on? Ingalo came on, did a bit, bit give him a 5 as well. Um, yeah, Mason Greenwood was did, did, did quite a few good things. I'll give him a 6. And you had your who else came on? Matic five. 
And Air Bay, we didn't read you anything, so it's an NA. It's the first time I'm going to give someone an NA. Non applicable. That's what it was. You know what I mean? Yes. And we move that to our play. Uh, that's it. Pair Reigns, Mandarin, Oli. You should have started off with Paul Pogba. You should have started off with Mason Greenwood. But at the same time, I can understand the tactical side. But I'm going to give you a five today. You was bang average. Bang average. Guys. At the end of the day, this was good. It was lovely. It's been a long time since I've done this match reaction. It's been a long time since we've been on Ready Night TV, but we're back at it again, guys. Guys, do remember to subscribe, press that like button, guys, and I'll see you again. And guys, we have changed because of the Instagram. You know, the our socials has changed again. It's the Red United TV, which is our official Red United TV one, which is our official Instagram account. Due to, you know, infringements again, guys. Someone is hating on me. Someone's hating on your boy. Yeah, hating your boy. I, I don't know. Someone keeps reporting me. I don't know. Like, what's going on? Instagram police keep getting me. Well, I keep busting case, though. Don't worry about that. We're back at it again. So just remember to, to follow Red United TV one and also follow my personal Instagram account, which is Red, um, is Aurora underscore Spice. Same for the Twitter. And the same for the Snapchat, guys. We'll see you again. We'll see you for the next match reaction, guys. It's been great. Peace out.